Falling into a neutron star isn't just a bad idea, it's an impossible one for anything made of ordinary matter. Neutron stars are among the densest objects in the universe, the crushed remains of massive stars that exploded as supernovae. What's left behind is a sphere about 20 kilometers wide, yet containing more mass than our entire sun. That means a single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. So, what would actually happen if you somehow got close enough to fall in? First, gravity would tear you apart long before you even touched the surface. The gravitational pull near a neutron star is trillions of times stronger than Earth's. The difference in gravity between your head and your feet would stretch you into a long, thin strand of atoms, a process known as spaghettification. But that's only the beginning. As you got closer, you'd enter an area where space itself bends like rubber, and time slows nearly to a stop from an outside observer's point of view. To someone watching from afar, it would look as though you froze in place, forever falling but never quite landing. If somehow your atoms could survive the trip, they'd be crushed together under pressure so extreme that electrons merge with protons, forming neutrons. You'd literally become part of the neutron star, a smear of nuclear matter packed so tightly that the concept of solid doesn't even apply. You wouldn't so much land as dissolve into the most compact form matter can take before collapsing into a black hole. The magnetic fields of neutron stars are also unimaginably intense, capable of ripping atoms apart and frying electronics from thousands of miles away. If you were unlucky enough to fall toward a magnetar, a type of neutron star with supercharged magnetic fields, the magnetic force alone could rearrange your molecular structure before gravity even got a chance. In short, falling into a neutron star isn't just death, it's the end of your very definition as matter. You wouldn't burn, you wouldn't splatter, you'd be rewritten into the language of physics itself.